What's going on guys, Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 91 Alexandro player moment card has just came out and he looks outrageous. Possibly one of the best left backs in the game. 91 pace, 87 dribbling, 89 defending, 91 physical and 86 passing. I tell you what, probably I would say just increase the pace defending and physical because that card doesn't need upgrading. He doesn't need a chem style. 5 foot 11, a decent height for a left back. I don't really have a preferred height for a fullback. As long as they're fast, they're strong and they can put in a tackle, I'm going to be fine with it. Left footed, he is high medium work rates, but... It doesn't matter. If you put stay back while attacking on a fullback, they're going to stay back this year. The three-star skill moves also is not going to matter. The three-star weak foot might a little bit, but at the end of the day, I would personally go three-star minimum on a fullback. Now, he is on an anchor chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 93 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. This guy is going to be bombing it up the field like there is no tomorrow. He's going to be tracking runs. He's going to allow no one in behind. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, his finishing stats aren't terrible, but I wouldn't advise obviously shooting with him. 75 attacking positioning, 59 finishing, 86 shot power, 77 long shots, 73 volleys, and 64 penalties. Now, if it does bounce to him, I'll give it a go. Why not? But at the end of the day, it's probably going to be his shot power that carries anything there. But is it going to go in? It's probably a 50-50. Let's all be fair. 78 vision, 93 crossing, 90 short passing, 79 long passing, and 87 curve. Now, the only thing I'm looking at is that long passing could obviously be improved with them cheeky over the tops to like a Dharma Traore and stuff. But... There's also a thing where 79 long passing, I do believe, is minimum. You should go because I do believe Alexandro is going to be able to do those over the tops as well because I've, I've done it with like a 70 long passing player and it worked perfectly fine. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now, he's got 84 agility, 83 balance, 91 reactions, 88 ball control, 87 dribbling and 89 composure. It's going to be pretty decent on the ball. He's going to be turning left and right. I'm actually might, depending on how good he is, I might actually replace him for my foot, Miss Mendy, which hasn't been done yet. 94 interceptions. He's going to be intercepting the ball left, right, and center. But what usually carries a fullback on interceptions is their defensive awareness. 97 defensive awareness means he's going to be reading them lanes down the line, which is always going to be helpful. 99 standing tackle and 99 signing tackle. This is why I think I'm going to prefer him more than Mendy. Not because of the standing tackle, but because he's got a more bulky body in game, which it kind of, I, I would say bulky bodies for a fullback are probably the best. Simply because they, in a way, their tackling for me is just 10 times better. And that's why players like Virgil van Dijk and stuff are so good in this game. Because I do believe that bulky body does do an effect towards tackling in some way. Now, he's got 97 jumping, 92 heading accuracy, him being 5 for 11. He'll probably win headers, I would say, 6 for 1 and below. But at the same time... I doubt he's going to lose a header to any of the meta strikers nowadays. 99 stamina means up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem. 91 strength means he's going to be bowling players left, right and center. And 99 aggression means he's going to be very, very fast. And he's going to be winning a lot of 50-50s. Now, today I have linked him up with Arthur and Rio. I've also got the likes of Neymar, Gabriel and Sissoko. But... What makes Alexandro so good is that he links up to CR7 now. And that is a game changer this year. But as long as I'm using, you know, Alexandro in a left back position, it doesn't matter what formation I'll be using, but I will be using a full 4 2. But let's get straight into these games. So the first thing we always do at the start of most reviews is test out how they feel on the ball. So let's see how Alexandra feels. Now, I did use his gold card at the start of the year, and I really did like him. He feels pretty good. He's going to be turning inside out. He obviously does lose the ball there. Let's see if he catches this up. This is a pace test. To be fair to you, he was actually catching him up, but he just couldn't get there. Very unfortunate. All right, so this is a test. I see him all the way on the other side. Can he do this through ball? Come on now. 79 long passing. They're lying to us. It's 100%. There's no way that is 79 long passing. That switch of comp the ball from one side of the pitch literally to the other is unbelievable. All right, so one thing I do love to do with my fullbacks is literally just bomb up the pitch with them simply because they're so fast. They're unexpected for the most opponents. And this guy's not coming towards me. I can probably bomb it down the line here. Look at him, man. He's pretty, he doesn't feel bad on the ball at all. So a speed test for Alexandro. It looks like he is actually getting up pace. Can he recover there? 
I would say he put the player under pressure, but I wouldn't say he completely shifted Morris. So, I don't know, having double thoughts about him right now, and it's a bit awkward. I love that. That is ridiculous. How we can do those through balls is incredible. And it really shows that all you need is 79 long passing. You don't need a better passer than that. Because after that, it's just wasted, especially on a fullback. If they're doing them passes with 79 long passing, God knows what they can do with 90 plus. That's an unbelievable cross as well. We are going to... Oh my god, Neymar missed a wide open header. But do you see that back stick cross from Alexandro? That is unbelievable. The accuracy, the power behind it was ridiculous. I like kind of going up with him a little bit. He is, look at him. He feels very, very comfortable on the ball. A beautiful back stick header. And if I had someone taller than Neymar, that would be an outstanding cross there. Nice. I basically faked it. Like, I, he knows Alexandro's obviously a left back. He thinks he's just going to go back into the position where he simply didn't. He attracted that, you know, behind run, and then it was an easy tackle after that. Nice. A really, really good, strong, uh, strong tackle from Alexandro. But that is something that I always saw from his gold card. He is so good at tackling. And this card. It just pretty much guarantees you the ball when the ball's not going to do any stupidness, aka bounce off him or anything like that. One thing I am noticing though, he has weird animation. So I do say he feels decent on the ball, but I don't say he feels, you know, up to like, I would say Neymar or even Messi kind of standards level. But at the same time, you don't really expect a fullback to be that agile. But I've seen a lot of animations he's doing that it kind of makes him a bit awkward on the ball. And them animations, I don't really like that much. Come on. Use that pace. Get up that pitch. Look at that. For me, he needs to outpace Morris there 100%. And he's not really living up to what his pace really says for me. See, that right there. That's what I mean about those animations. That animation is so, so annoying because it puts him in an animation where I can't really do anything during when he's doing the animation and that just makes him completely delayed and stuff and he's just starting to get a bit annoying nope not sending alexandra i'll tell you that right now reading him like i'm reading a book it's simple as that can i get that complete switch as well unbelievable pass there you go he got the better of it at the end of the day i honestly thought he was gonna like just go backwards and i was about to say oh come on but that is with the freestyle weak foot, by the way. So it looks like he can obviously switch the ball with his weaker foot as well. And that's always nice to see. Nice. A little twist and turns. Out to the wing. Ball roll. Out how come we're going to fake back. Do the drag back. And that if that doesn't show how nice he feels on the ball, I really don't know what does. Complete switch of play. Really good pass once again. And... That just shows 79 long passing. It, it is the minimum you can go for a fullback, 100%. Because I've done, I've done those passes with 70, I would say 75 and 76, 77s. And they do time to time do screw up the pass. And it gets annoying because it's a simple pass and you want it to work, I would say, 10, time, 10 times out of 10. And with Alexandro, it's going to work 10 times out of 10 because I've done it multiple times, this review. And it's just working after working after working. Can we get a finish there? Yes, we can. There you go. A beautiful standing tackle from Alexandro. That is one thing I have noticed. When he goes in for the tackle, he doesn't just go in and just like, you know, see if it rebounds somewhere. He wants to go fully in, make sure he gets the ball, then instantly just pass away. Alexandro has obviously got amazing jumping, pretty decent heading accuracy to be fair to him. So why not try, and try a near post header? We are obviously trying him out. So let's see what happened. Ooh, oh, I did read it anyway, to be fair. But at the end of the day, he didn't really get in front of him. He didn't really commit. So that was a bit of a problem there. Come on, Alexandro. Run. Use that pace of yours. Fake shot round a corner if you can. You're not going to get bodied. You're not going to get bodied. There you go. And that is one thing he's got over all the fullbacks. That strength. Oh, one thing I am noticing, though, is his touches. His touches are not good time to time. Like, you give it to him, if it's going at a little bit of pace, he will most likely take a bad touch, and you obviously have to look into that, thinking to yourself, is this guy the guy you want on the pitch during, you know, the 90th minute when you're 2-1 up and he could possibly screw up a touch? Probably not. 
but he's on the ball here. An unbelievable turn. Can we get a shot? Um, and that's what I mean about, you know, those 50-50 chances where he hasn't got that finishing ability towards him. He, all he has is obviously shot power and he's not going to be that consistent of a finisher. So it is time to review him and let me say this card is very, very nice, but it has got some flaws to it. Simply, he's got weird animations. He's got animations that make him take bad touches time to time and a bit of clumsiness in there as well which obviously is a big problem now five for 11 it was a good high he was intercepting balls left right and center if they were coming down the line so that's always nice to see the high medium just put a stay back while attacking on him he shouldn't go forward the left foot the, sorry the three star weak foot really really good it acted like even a four star it's pretty much the same as passing of his left foot it's not going to matter the three star skill moves now some people would like you know four star skill moves on their fullback aka okay, cancelo marcelo all them players but at the end of the day you're gonna have to deal with if you want to use this good of a fullback sometimes they're not going to have kind of these skill moves to do burb spins in you know tight situations but at the same time it, i don't think it matters that much Pace wise, he didn't live up to his pace 100%. He doesn't feel like he doesn't. I wouldn't say he doesn't feel fast because he does, but he's not one of those players that he uses his aggression to his full potential, and that is annoying. Shooting wise, I took one shot. Didn't, I, as I said at the start, it's not guaranteed to go in, so I wouldn't obviously take a shot with him. But at the end of the day, I took one and it didn't go in. Passing wise, unbelievable. Switching the ball from one side to the other. A short passing was crazy good. The RBAs into the middle was good as well. Dribbling, he felt good on the ball. I wouldn't say he felt, you know, Neymar or, or you know, Neymar or Messi standards. But at the end of the day, you don't really, you know, you don't really expect a fullback to feel like that. You expect a fullback to be strong, a person that's going to have probably a bulky body. But at the end of the day, he did feel nice on the ball, calm and composed. It's just the only problem I had with him. With when I was just simply a passing him the ball, he would be very, very clumsy and take a weird touch that could end up, you know, the person obviously intercepting it and go for a counter attack. And that was the biggest problem I did have with Alexandro. Interceptions, as I said, was really, really good. Defensive awareness, right place, right time. I like that a lot. Standing tackle, really, really strong standing tackle. And that is one thing I always got from his gold card as well at the start of the year. The fact that he can put in a tackle like there is no tomorrow. Jumping wise, winning headers, left, right and centre. Stamina, no problem. Chasing players throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength, mm, he is strong, but there was some points that he really didn't use his strength and I questioned him a little bit. Now, the aggression, as I said, he didn't really use it to his full potential of like, you know, a split second from point A to point B. We're using that aggression to make him even faster. He didn't really use that. What I do, what I do agree with, though, is that he did use his aggression to fight for the ball and win a lot of 50-50s. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. Looking at the stats, you would obviously give him a 10 out of 10. But how he played in game, hmm... I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 or even an 8.5. I'm thinking I'll give an 8.5, but at the same time, I, I do believe, that I don't believe there's a lot of sen uh, fullbacks better than this guy, 100%. So I am going to give him a 9 out of 10. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.